Um, yes, welcome to Fallout 4 and the adventures of Dick Donkey Punch. Don't ask me why I came up with that name, like honestly. It was just, it was something that just popped in my head and I said, yeah, we're just gonna roll with Dick Donkey Punch. I was like, I like that name. War. I know this intro has been, oh. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife. Now, I wasn't really worried about the scream. I was more worried about my earphones because, dear God in heaven, that blasted in my head. When the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the world awaited Armageddon. Instead, yeah, but I and I completely forgot to um, change my or I for, completely forgot to update my schedule. And um, yeah, literally, uh, it says that I was supposed to be playing Saints Row 2 today, and uh, I didn't. So, uh, yeah, this I guess was kind of a surprise or something. I don't know. Portable computers. First century. People awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Now, I can't remember if it was actually China or Russia that really started the whole thing, or it was, if it was America. It's been a while since I had to mess with my Fallout lore. Like, I cannot remember who exactly started World War Three. Even though World War Three lasted for, like, all of, like, what, ten minutes or something? For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the Army taught me one thing, it's the war. war in my opinion changes. honestly out of all the weapons in the game I'm not a fan of the laser rifle like honestly like literally the one that he was just carrying I'm not a fan of it war never changes You're gonna knock him dead it does you think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. I thought I literally changed it. Why does it say Star Wars? I mean, yeah, hang on. Just give me give me a second. Okay. Let's see if that fixed it. Sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do that. Thanks for letting me know ahead of time. I mean, I could probably change the title later, but... Well, honestly, why won't it let me... Uh, you know what, screw it. We're playing Fallout 4. I don't know why it's not letting me do it. That's stupid. Anyway. Uh, yeah, 
So this is the character we're going to be fucking with, and uh, his name is uh, Dick Donkey Punch. Um, don't ask me why. It was just the first name that I thought of that popped into my head. And uh, I never really do this that often. Oh, it's fixed? Okay, thank, thank you. Um, I just changed it to Richard because they probably wouldn't let me say Donkey Punch. But, um, <laughs> that's probably why the title didn't change. Um, I've never actually done this before in any game where I can make a character. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to make him the ugliest son bitch on the planet. And, uh, I think, eh, I think we'll go with the long nose going down. Uh... Yeah, we'll do that. Kind of want to just fuck his face up as best I can. Uh, I I'm feeling that. Ooh, handsome. Yeah, okay, buddy. Just give him a fucking five head. That'll work. <laughs> you got the Eugene Levy eyebrows. Okay. Uh... What about the chin? Just give him a broken chin. That works. I don't know how bad can I fuck his face up. I was looking. I want this guy to look like he literally goes and sniffs somebody's seat after they stand up. Oh yes, perfect. Oh, yes. There we go. Now I'm digging this. Jowls. <laughs> yes, there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh-huh. Now I figured out the controls again. Oh, yes. Yes. This is beautiful. Uh-huh. You think my nose is too big? Let's give him like the tiniest jawline on the planet. There we go. <laughs> we need incel levels of looking. Oh, very strapping. <laughs> Tiny eyes. Yep, I can live with that. Uh, or no, no. I think the tiny eyes is perfect. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna th I think I'm going to live with that. Now the hair, on the other hand, uh, style. Where is it? Because I saw one on here that I really thought was funny. There it is. Oh, yeah. I like it. It makes you look younger. Actually, what's the creeper? Because I don't know. Actually, I want to see the creeper. Yes. Even better. Okay. Um, uh, facial hair... Oh, God. <laughs> the facial hair actually helped him a little bit. Wait a minute. No. No. Come on. I need something just really bad. Mm, damn. Ooh, mutton chops. That's perfect. Kind of looks like Andrew Dice Clay. <laughs> uh... No. That's it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have Dick Donkey Punch. What do you think, hon? That's him. Beard or no beard? Uh, I don't think I'm going to change the hair color at all, but that is perfect. Look at this monstrosity. We He is a precious child. I love him. Okay. <laughs> perfect. All right. Uh, extras. I actually do want to add uh, blemishes. Uh as handsome as the day we met. Ooh. Just keep adding them. Apply. Apply. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this is perfect. Oh god, I'm gonna have to look at this every single day. <laughs> Ew.
perfect. Looks like he got maced. <laughs> Uh, Pock the neck. Uh, yes, Not absolutely. Bad. And you know what? Is I don't think it affects anything. Just gonna make him just. Actually, we make him like Trevor from GTA. Just make him really jacked now. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking large, definitely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's him. We have created Dick Donkey Punch. Well, Richard Donkey Punch, but Dick Donkey Punch. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I forgot how to play this. It has been a while since I've played this, so you'll have to forgive me if I don't remember how. Thank you. Thanks, Kazuwe. Ooh, Grognak the Barbarian. Barbarian in the jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. I honestly for oh, Jesus Christ, lady. <laughs> God, I was thinking about doing a horror game, but then I decided on this because I figured it'd be tame. But Christ, woman. Oh, Sean's crying. <laughs> oh, no, it's God's words got it. Fuck it. I'm gonna sit down. You know, I was nervous at first, but God's words really good with Sean. Uh-huh. That all you had to say? Hey, Ron Perlman. Oh, my God. This is the only part of the game that I don't like because it's so damn slow. There we go. I'm going to take a look at this monstrosity we made. Any day now. Sugar Bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. So Sugar Bombs is a cereal? I didn't know that. Like, I honestly didn't know that. I thought it was a, um... Coca-Cola. Ice cold. It comes to you every day. I actually just thought it was a, um... A candy... I didn't know what sugar bombs were. I literally thought they were a candy because you never. S well, I mean, I guess you do see them. Uh, what do you want? Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. I assure you. Uh-huh. Well, uh, glad you're here. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. Shut up. <laughs> no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. vault. Oh god, my foot itches and I don't know why. Cool. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Some information. Actually, That's I think this one's really interesting because, um, sure, let's do it. Literally, I think this is one of the Splendid. only times that we actually yeah. see like pre-nuclear war America and everything, and I think that's kind of the uh, more interesting thing. Okay, so this, hopefully, this will fly. Because, literally, I'm not naming him anything else. It's this or bust. <laughs> I'll end the episode right here. I don't care. No, I'm kidding. But, um... Yes. Dick Donkey Punch. I know you can't see it from my perspective. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> Dick Donkey Punch. I was at work, and I asked a co-worker. I was just like, you know what? I was like, give me a name... That works. Wait, 
I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, but um, sorry, that's just how I check my base stats and everything. Um, I had a coworker. Or I asked a coworker. I was like, please help me come up with a name and everything. And like he. He's usually good about coming up with really stupid shit, but he just kind of missed the mark. And I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it. And then I got home and uh, I heard the words donkey punch. And I was just like, uh-huh. Yep. Dick donkey punch. That's his name. And I was all like, that is perfect and everything. But um, actually, let's see, because I don't, I'm not really planning on an intelligence build, to be honest with you. I definitely want a... Uh, 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 endurance build for health, and we're just gonna make him stupid. Yeah, fuck it, <laughs> and we'll mess with his luck. <laughs> That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. I like how in Fallout 3, and I think maybe New Vegas. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. The door closed by itself. right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. I like how in Fallout 3 and um. New Vegas, I think, if you lower the intelligence to, like, zero or, or something, like, you become, like, a, like, just imbecile and everything. Uh-huh. You heard Codsworth. Go on. I'm doing paper. I'm doing all the work around the house. Oh, fine. Whatever. I know she ain't doing shit because she just said five minutes ago that she trusts the robot. Hi, Sean. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin them over. You're not my son. <laughs> you bastard. I know you cheated on me, Nora. <laughs> How's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, I'm not even broke. I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah. Uh, I just want to get through this as fast as possible. I really don't care. <laughs> Come and see this. Codsworth? Yeah, because this part's the only part that's a real grind, in my opinion, so. <sighs> followed by. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. I love Ron Perlman. I love that they gave him this part. Bitch, shut up and listen. <laughs> oh, no. We do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Sorry. I'm always checking my audio. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I just want to make sure it's fine. Now. I've got some. <laughs> Let's go. I love how it just pops up dick donkey punch. <laughs> I'm surprised this fat bastard can run. Wait, how do you run? Oh, there we go. I'm trying to remember. I'm used to Fallout 3 controls. I really am. Or, I'm sorry, Fallout New Vegas controls. Well, I guess that is Fallout 3 controls. Yep. Now what the hell with this bitch? <laughs> I'm leaving her. <laughs> I know that's not my son anyway. We need to get in. We're on the list. <laughs> Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, man. You too. Follow me. <laughs> What's gonna her name's to Nora Donkey Punch. I wonder how her parents felt moving. about that at one point. <laughs> It's like you're really it's like being named Earl like Earl Hickey and Joy Hickey and Sir, everything, you know? You He's like Step on the platform. Step on the platform. Yeah, in okay. The <clears throat> Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love <laughs> Ding you. Both of you. <laughs> I'm so glad I picked that name. Oh, oh cool. Actually, we wouldn't have survived that. In no way in hell. That force right there, 
the initial shockwave is mostly what kills in a nuclear blast and everything that they found out. But as it turns out, the uh, the sheer force of that alone, right, would have ripped off all of our heads going down. So there is no way in hell we survive that. So literally, I'm in hell right now. <laughs> I'm atoning for a sin that I did or something, I don't know. Proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Uh-huh. Better future underground. So we just Yes, up the stairs. Vault is here for you. Just this way. No, no, don't get caught up. I'm going to eat all your food later. <laughs> I wish I could have made him bigger. <laughs> Step over to the table to take a seat. You'll need your suits before we can take uh, you further. Thanks. What now? Just follow <laughs> oh the doctor. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. <laughs> looks terrible. I think that guy only looks See? just slightly better. This is our new home. Oh, you're going to love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Gone. Our home. Everything we Sir? had. My mother and father down in DC. Uh, how we're long do you think we'll be down here? I know this is a <laughs> no, we're gonna die here. Well, uh, one of us is going to die here. Let me say that. <laughs> it's a good fit, don't you think? Just checking the everyone off the list. To be fashionable as well as comfortable. <laughs> My God, Dick Donkey Punch looks terrible. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. <laughs> I trust the American government totally. <laughs> the pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. There is no way in hell Dick Donkey Punch pulled a woman like it pulled Nora. There ain't no way in hell. Resident <laughs> Like, she's at least a seven, you know? And it's like, there ain't no way in hell that, like, Dick Donkey Punch pulled her. Oop, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a fan of... Oh, I wasn't a fan of this intro. To be honest with you, that's not to say that I'm not a fan of the rest of the game. It's just the other intros. The first, the only intro that I don't like more is Fallout 3's intro because that one drug on forever. This one is at least somewhat shorter, but I like New Vegas's intro because it gets right to the point and it's like you got shot in the head, he pulled the bullet out, blah blah blah, you're good. And I just. I enjoy that intro much better. I enjoy a lot of Fallout New Vegas much better. Um, mostly because of how how concise they made everything in that game. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, thank you. I'm pretty sure, you know, like, that wasn't my son, and I really don't care. <laughs> Nora got around. <laughs> so did I, for that matter. I don't know how, but so did I. Yeah, I don't know the backstory on Dick Donkey Punch. I'm just making this up as I go. I don't know, Nora cheated on him, and that's not his son, and we could give a fuck less. I'm gonna grab her ring and I'm immediately going to sell it. <laughs> Wait, so my question on this is there were other people. So are they okay, so they're still they're still frozen and everything, right? But are they dead? God. Why would Vault have do this? Oh, Alright, uh Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! If 
fucking raining outside? I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. No, we won't. <laughs> I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Oh, that's perfect. The only thing that would make that better if his pants said juicy. Alright, cool. Let's go. <laughs> God, that... <laughs> That is an ass. <laughs> he just looks so dumb. <laughs> All right, uh, monitoring, uh, monitoring terminal. <laughs> I can't read words. I'm sorry. I'm still tired. <laughs> Literally woke up late and I got to the stream a couple minutes late. You ran for five seconds and you well. I mean, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Let's see. Yep. God, that is. Imagine, God, that would be fucking terrifying—a cockroach that big. I totally forgot about that. Anything? Ooh. Impact. I was like exploring my environments. That's why I really wanted to play this. Give me that. And whack. There we go. Okay, so Giant. now roaches? What the hell? I mean, yeah, that would freak me out too, to be honest with you, but at the same time, you know, it's like, eh. It's like they're they're manageable. Ooh, actually, no, I'm not gonna steal random shit right now. I'll wait till I get outside. I can always come back here though. Now if I find a carton of cigarettes on the other hand, I'm keeping that. But I kind of doubt that I will. And that's the funny thing, because in Fallout, um... Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, if you find cartons of cigarettes, they're worth something a little bit. But, uh, oh, please electrocute it. Oh, I missed it. But if you find cigarettes or something, you know, they're worth a little bit, but... It... Dick. Anyway, if you find... Yeet. They're worth something, and it made me wonder, I was like, wouldn't those uh, cigarettes be stale and everything? Because I've accidentally smoked a stale cigarette before, and it's disgusting. Like, it's just, ugh. And, like, I can't imagine a 200-year-old stale cigarette box and somebody trying to smoke it, you know? Like, I didn't, like, it just didn't sit right with me, you know? Because it's like, why would they be worth something, you know? Unless they could refine the, or, uh, or uh, refine, uh, refine the tobacco or something. Oh, cool. We got a pistol. Nice. Oh, sorry. Uh, I have, I'm literally, it's been a while. I have to... Where is everyone? Dead, dude. Like, did, did not get the memo yet. We'll come back for you. <laughs> because you are actually an interesting weapon, and I've used you before. And, um... Yeah, we'll come back for you. Alright, uh... No. Yeah, see right there, preserved cigarette pack. How is it preserved? I guess it's unopened or something, but I feel like it would still be stale nonetheless. But I'm keeping those cigarettes because Dick Donkey Punch smokes tobacco. He smokes cigarettes like a real man. He's not one of them vaping pussies. I'm the lonely. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the cry later. Open evacuation tunnel. Not really concerned about the Kryler. Yes, 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 yes. Cool, okay. Oh, excuse me. God, sorry. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. Whack, fuck. Whack, fuck. Come here. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to waste my bullets on rad roaches. Screw that. I will take their, their guts, though. Because they are a good pull of health, and I figure, what the hell? Why not? The one thing about this game that really interests me is the fact that the rad counter goes into your health and everything, and I really think that's cool. And it made for a lot of new dynamics in the game. That roach was humping him. Is this all, all right. that's left? 
Yes, God in heaven, I pray that this is all that's left. Bitch. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, because the world sucks and we nuked it, so, yay. <laughs> I know I'm a little disheveled right now. <laughs> I know I'm a little... <sighs> annoying and sarcastic, but Dick Donkey Punch hates the world. Okay. Now, I honestly wondered like how powerful this computer actually was in terms of processing power and everything. I have not gotten a definitive answer on that. Yes, I know how to use the pit boy. Cool. Yeah, but I have not gotten a definitive answer on that, like, ever and everything. Like, I wonder, honestly, if it has, like, the strength of, like, the first, like, actual tablets or whatever, you know, like, iPads and everything. Like, back from, like, 20... I don't know, when did the iPad came out, come out? Uh, like, pff, I don't know, tw like, 2011 or some shit like that? Like, I feel like that would be its processing power more than anything. Come on. I like how the machine's sparking. How, how much would that suck if it just, like, just broke halfway and, like, you couldn't get out? Like, you had, like, a little sliver to try to crawl through and you couldn't get out. That would suck. You live off rad rope meat or something. I'm sure they had food here at one point, but... <sighs> Alright. Oh, look, the elevator that we should have died on. Because, like, that's just how nuclear fallout works. I'm about to redeck. Yeah! It, I, I had to decide whether or not I wanted to download this, and, like, it literally just came down to, you know, uh, don't want to change appearance, let's just take a look at the special stats one more time. Luck, strength, endurance, yeah, I want to give the fat guy endurance, okay, that's perfect. Alright, uh, exit ball. But, um, yeah, no, I had to figure out whether or not I really wanted to play this. Because, when, like, when trying to decide what I wanted to do and everything, that was the difficult part, you know? And I was like, okay, what could have a longevity on the series? Because as of right now, um, Knights of Republic is my longest running thing on here. As, a fr as terms of free roam, it's not my favorite, but it is good nonetheless, you know? Like, it's not terrible. Oh, God. I forgot about the light blindness thing. But, um, yeah, in terms of longevity, I needed something, you know? Something that could work. Nuka Cola Bono, right away, that'll work. But, for the most part, I wanted something that could compete with Knights of Republic 2, but at the same time, um, be interesting and fun, you know? Like, I think Knights of the Republic 2 is interesting and fun, but, um, you know, not everybody would. And I know people like Fallout, so I was like, you know, fuck it. It's either Fallout or something horror-themed. I might go with horror-themed uh, after Knights of the Republic 2, because we're about halfway into that, I'd say. A little over halfway or something. Yeah, but anyway, uh, oh god. That was that couple that I saw outside. Nice. I know there's a bit of a blur. I'm sorry. I am recording at 720. That's just what my rig can handle right now and everything. So that's just, I'm sorry if it gets a little choppy. It's just, I can't help it. <laughs> I really can't. I'll try to be decent and slow about things. Alright, so, oh, okay. This is what I really wanted to see. You're still here? Codsworth? You're, you're Tip still talk, here. You punch. So, other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state. Hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? 
what I'm really hoping on is he actually says my name. <laughs> like, to be honest with you. Uh, they killed her. <laughs> they killed her. D dude, you're not even sad about it. Fuck you. I believe you need a distraction. You knew your wife was cheating on you. Calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Nah, he's dead. <laughs> Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'd be dead after that. That's impossible. No. No, that's not possible. I wasn't out for that long. Not 200 years. God, the way his face moves. That was a good idea, giving him the jowls on his face. <laughs> it really accentuates just how fucked he looks. That means you're two centuries late for dinner. I love how fat he is. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Are you okay? You're acting a little bit weird. I'm sorry, I can't help but look at his butt because it's funny. I... Wait. Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one I'm really to hoping that he says my name. Just just the dick part. I'm re I would be really happy about that. Ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house and the car the car <laughs> how do you polish rust there is a way to dilute rust and polish it i was actually looking up a video on that stop just it. stop it get to the point i'm afraid i don't know so anything. this playthrough actually i'm gonna be a dickhead because this I, I wanted to model this character after just a dickhead, you know? Dead. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a surprise. But then, oh, everything happened. A hollow tape. Or, eh, thank you. You know what? Fuck it. It's not much. This is all that's left. That's not all. Left, sir. There's still you and I want him to call me Master Dick. <laughs> now, I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. There's nothing. No, here. fuck him. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Yeah, fuck him. Oh, oh, I have to Can't do the work. quest. Damn it. Yes! We got it. <laughs> he called me Dick. He called me Mr. Dick, not Master Dick. Damn it! All right. Uh, fine. Let's do it. Lead the way. I was really hoping I'd get that. I'd get away with that. <laughs> yeah, he called me Dick. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's official, ladies and gentlemen. The adventures of Dick Donkey Punch have begun. I wonder what his mother's name was. Hmm. I'll have to think of that. I'll have to think more of a backstory for him. I forgot how to play this. Actually, there's shit in here that I can loot, right? Yep. Not worth much, but... Yeah, you have fun, Codsworth. I don't have bobby pins, damn it. <laughs> like, it just goes off and goes off. I wonder what he's been doing for 200 years other than trying to keep the house clean. Do you think, like, he just, like, just went rogue and just started fucking murdering everything in sight? I was just getting warmed up. Because, uh, literally, like, why would you sell... Oh, Mr. Dick. <laughs> Really gone, aren't they? 
That's what I told you the first time, dumbass. This whole thing was a waste of time. I only wanted to help, sir. But maybe you could try and conquer it. I've seen people in that area, and they're only slightly heavily armed. <sighs> Fine, thanks, Codsworth. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You sure. I, shall remain here I know you're trying, but you're still useless, dick. No, I, wait, no, I'm Dick. <laughs> I'm so happy that he called me Mr. Dick. I really wish he would have said Master Dick, though, because I feel like that just would have been funnier to me. But I can live with Mr. Dick. <laughs> I know it's juvenile. I really know it's juvenile, but it's like, I don't, I don't care. All right, so, okay, there we go. Yes, we are getting that gratuitous ass shot in. That is perfect. Oh. <laughs> I love the way he runs. <laughs> and what's cool is like I'm like I don't think like the weight in this game really affects the gameplay too much, so I'm really happy he looks the way he does. And I like the fact that he just has a square ass and everything. Like it's just the ugliest ass I've ever seen in my life. And he uh, he looks so handsome. Like just look at that face. That love it. Nora was only with him for money or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure that one out along the way. Alright, so 38 round. Pipe pistol. Wow! Usually that person has a double barrel shotgun. Huh. I mean, that's not terrible, but you know, hey. Oh, I forgot how to use a pit boy. Okay, so... Do -do -do -do. Pipe pistol... Uh favorite okay i have to remember how to play this game so you, you really gotta bear with me on this one all right so apparel drifter outfit fuck the wedding ring I'm selling both of those when i get the chance oh wait oh yeah that's perfect for him mm -hmm. that looks exactly like what he needs to wear that's weird because almost always i've gotten a double barrel shotgun on that like, that is very strange. My god, he looks... He looks so good. <laughs> like, I'm super proud of this. <laughs> I love him. Dick Donkey Punch is my new favorite person in the entire world. Alright, who wants me to shoot the dog? <laughs> hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Uh... You want to come with me? Let's pal? go. <laughs> You're my okay, only then. friend now. <laughs> Stick together. I don't want to issue commands. We're supposed to fight more rats, I know. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Come on. Where'd he go? <laughs> Wait, what am I looking for again? Oh, God, I forgot about the light. Alright, well, let's go. Is, is there something in there that I'm supposed to do? I can't remember. What? Uh... Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> well, he went down pretty easily. There we go. You done? <laughs> There's really nothing in here. Mole rat meat, baseball. How does he have a pack of cigarettes? Cool. I'll strip him. What? There's nothing there. It's a wall, stupid. Uh. Anything? Ooh. Cap stash. 14. Rat. Ooh. Perfect. Okay. As long as we have 
As long as we have money and food, I'm happy. Alright, so guess we're going to Concord. That dog following me or no? Okay, I was gonna say, it better be following me. I ain't doing this by myself again. Yeet. The hell? There we go. Alright. Now, I think we're pretty much going to get shot at and everything. You know, honestly, I don't feel like helping these guys, but it is necessary to do this first. And then after that, we're doing, like, none of the Minutemen quests. I'm sorry, that's just we're not doing them. The Minutemen are so boring in this game, I really don't want to do it. Which is bats. Okay, there we go. Alright, uh, actually, what I need to do is I need. Oh, okay, I already favorited it. Okay. Just in case, because I don't, like, literally want to die. Take all your clothes while I'm at it. Oh, sorry, lady. <laughs> Was not paying attention. <laughs> Impact, pipe bottle pistol. Really? Did the dog get shot? What the hell? <laughs> get, shut up, dog. Oh my god. Oops. Alright, let's go kill people. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, short double barrel shotgun. Nice. That's what I wanted. Road leathers. Okay. I love the double barrel shotgun in this game. I'm sorry. I think it's one of the best guns of the game, and we're going to stick with it throughout and everything. Ooh, another one. Cool. Um, yeah, let's take all your shit. Okay. Uh, actually, and let's mess with the weapons. Favorite, uh, I'm actually going to put you right there. And, oh, okay, cool. I got 12 shells. Um, let's see. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba uh, pipe auto pistol, nah. Pipe pistol, yeah. Laser musket. I'll put you right there. It's not a bad weapon, but I much prefer shotguns in these games more than anything. Dear God, why am I so close? I much prefer shotguns more than anything in this game. Alright, uh... Well, I fucked up. Yeah. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> I don't know where the shots are coming from. Oh god. Every single time I round that corner, I immediately want to shoot, but I have to reflexively tell myself not to. Oh, I love it. And I love the fact that it shoots two barrels. How do I crouch? Okay. Uh, I love the fact that it shoots two barrels, right? Or a single barrel. So I think it's really cool that they did that. I think it's just like a, an attention to detail, in my opinion. Jump. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. God, I love this gun. <laughs> Alright. Uh, leather chest piece, welding harness, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm stealing all your shit when you die. <laughs> it's just the rules. <laughs> Alright, actually, I want to save right here. Yeah, I had another game on here at one point. 
but I didn't get very far. Oh god, that is so satisfying. Like, just double barrel shotguns, as long as they're punchy and they do the job and everything, I really like them. Alright, I'm not gonna worry about stealing this guy's clothes. Uh, oh, gas mask. I might take the gas mask, though. This dude's still shooting. What's in here? Oh, buff out wonder glue. Sweet, we can sniff glue later. I always wondered that. Why does that work? I, I'm not gonna try it, obviously, but I always wondered why sniffing glue seems to work. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Really? Dumbass. <laughs> I do like the fact that he tanked two shotgun shells, so, you know, good for him. Uh, road leathers. Actually, you know what? I think I'll put the road leathers on. Because I'm wearing... What am I wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing the drifter outfit. Because I think... Yes, I can upgrade the road leathers if I wanted to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, Mad Maxine. Perfect. Um, yeah, I think I can upgrade the road leathers if I want to. So, uh, that's actually really good for me. Uh, gas mask with goggles, left leg, road leathers. It's in here. Ooh, nice. I'm glad I looked. Alright, uh, which way am I going now? Oh, in here. <laughs> Just love how fat he is. <laughs> Alright, actually, uh, let's go back. Uh, right arm, left leg, left arm, chest piece. I don't know what my defense is at currently, but, you know, I feel like this is okay. Uh, assault gas mask, I'm not worried about that. Mm. Militia hat. Mm, nah. Road leather sack with strap. Uh, no, I don't want to cover up his face. Um, welding goggles. Hell yeah. I don't want to cover up his face too much because that's a face. Oh yes, that is beautiful. Look at look at our boy. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Look at our boy. He's beautiful. God in heaven. All right, let's go talk to him. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. God damn it. All right, uh, you owe me. <laughs> yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're out of this mess. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Get fucked! I killed like eight people back there, you know? I got my own I problems. My own problems, Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us? Maybe we can help you. <sighs> missing person. Who's around that can find a missing person? Used to have a few good trackers in this group. Not many now. Hey, then why the fuck would you say something if they're not here anymore? Yesterday there oh my god. Eight. I'm Preston Garvey. I can't do my job. Nobody likes me. <laughs> I do like his hat, though. I want his hat. All right, it's a cruel world. It's a cruel world. You think I don't know that? Nah, the things I've it. seen. The things I've done. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Maybe. Those raiders proved us wrong. But nope. Well, we do have one idea. Get to the point. Is there like literally? Is there a rest stop between here and the fucking point? Uh, is it Will enough? It Stop those maniacs? Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a serious... Looks like butthead. <laughs> in a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. 
military issue. Uh, I like, I like it. it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? You're not cool. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, but right? But I will take the minigun. <laughs> Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again, but we're a bit stuck. I'll help. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC, a standardized fusion core, your high-grade mm -hmm. long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the mm -hmm. damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I think the game glitched out because it's not putting in the uh, subtitles. Alright, uh, yeah. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, alright. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. I like your hat, but I'm not going to steal it. Because you can't, you can't tame the lusciousness with hats, but those goggles are perfect. I love those goggles. They are absolutely perfect for this character. Okay, so we need to go back downstairs. And... Yeah. No, but he's perfect. I love him. He's just... He's the absolute best. And he... I really wanted to model him after a guy that, like, he looks like he would go and sniff somebody's seat after they stood up and everything. Like, I just... I love him. Don't have any bobby pins. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, they in here? Really? Uh, give me the quest, and I don't have bobby pins. All right, fine. Uh, oh God. Oh man, I forgot how to do this. Um, I guess Earth. Nope. Zero likenesses, so E R T H is completely out. Mm. Winds. One likeness. Damn. I was never good at these. Uh E R T E A R T H is out. No. List. Damn. I don't know. Grade. Terminal has locked you out. Great. Ugh. I don't know the answer. I usually just shoot through things. Out of bobby pins. Yeah, I know. I would love to have a bobby pin. Where can I find one? Bullshit. <laughs> Ooh, my third left leg. Give me the long johns, thank you. Alright, let's try again, because I don't have any bobby pins. Mm. Oh god, it reset completely, so it's randomized. Mm. Which? Mm. Oops. Okay. Oh, uh, shit. There's two likenesses, so... Mm, I'm really bad at these. Mm, so I'm guessing... E and O. Nope. Mm. Boots? Yes! Okay. I had to do math in my head right there. I was like, how many combinations can I do? Unlock security gate. Okay. Well, that is pretty much all that I'm going to have time for for this episode, at least for the YouTube. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you're digging Fallout. And I hope you're digging the adventures of Dick Donkey Punch. 
all the Fast First YouTube, Fast First Twitch, Fast First 249 on TikTok, and everybody take a five-minute break. We'll, we'll all be 